What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. All right guys, we got a lot of big news and some sneak peeks at some of the new events that are happening. So you guys can see here on my screen, I'm on the, I'm on the Facebook of Omni Heroes and they've now announced the sneak peek for Tides Cadence, which is going to be the brand new event with a slew of new heroes, some brand new skins, first ever I think in battle game skins for characters as we talked about in a couple of videos ago, plus the brand new Abyss boss. So this is going to be a pretty big update so if you have not joined omni heroes yet i highly recommend you do they're giving away the 777 summons which is 777 summons times two so you can get it like in many many different ways and also brand new events and heroes dropping in the very near future so let's go through what's going to be going on in this new update so as you can see here, it's it's going to be an island-based summer event. I know summer is almost over for most of us, but they're, you know, better late than never. It looks like we got uh, a lot of water here, a little bit of an island, and we got a, a castle in ruins. So I'm not sure exactly what that's all about. But if we scrape over here to the next one, here's what is going to be happening. So new Abyss Crusade. We have optimized the gameplay of Abyss Crusades. Gather together to challenge the boss and win rewards. So you can see here, it looks like a, a demon of some sort. Uh, looks like a sea monster or maybe a dragon monster. I'm not sure. Permanently available after version 1.3 update, which is going to be happening in the near future. Again, probably this week or the following. Uh, release brand new event, Tides Cadence, unlocking the event shop and event login and get tons of rewards. So you can see here, this looks like a map here that we can probably traverse and probably battle. And then also new Valkyrie Marina has run Valkyrie Manor. So now we've got a mermaid in the Valkyrie Manor. Now we finally know who the new or who the, the missing like woman was or valkyrie was in there so it's nice to know it's marina increasing favor level on lock marina, marina's related feature so that's gonna be big uh so right now we have elune dorabella uh Ilular, and uh awushta and i think that was everybody and now we get marina so that's five they're probably gonna add more into it so obviously keep a lookout for that make sure you are saving yourself your tokens unless you have or your, your valkyrie favor tokens unless you you're trying to get a luler to 20 which i'm currently trying to do as well anyways if you guys do get her to 20 though save everything else we don't know what marina's favors are going to be so it's better off to just hold off and then and then like do that at the end so you guys can max her out and see what her, her rewards are right not only do you get the different costumes for her in the manner but you also get yourself plenty of rewards as well too so it's definitely worth holding off on that guys uh with it for at least the next week or so unless again you're pushing a lula already up to the the next next level then that's a whole different story obviously right all right moving over so next character to come out new hero lamia looks pretty damn insane so these are two demon heroes that we're getting for two different factions and i think these factions highly highly need it uh actually one of them definitely needs it the other one not as much so one of the heroes is Lamia, which is the Abyss Enchantress. She's a Doomsdayer. She's got the Royal and the Deviant, and she's got the Demon and Caster. So she's a mage. Looks like going to be probably a water-based mage because you can see the sharks around her. I don't know if that's part of her, her actual MO. It looks like a water damage unit. Um, and then we have also another new hero called Mavis, who is going to be an Avenger hero. And she is a... It looks like a Shadow Arch, Monarch and eclipse and a warrior looks pretty damn crazy looks like a necromancer probably controls the undead because you can see the two skeletons around there and so that's going to probably bring a lot more utility and a lot more damage over to the actual characters from the avengers which they really don't need because the avengers are pretty damn op as it is but as you can see here the two different summons one of them will be from the immortal summons which is the pay to win event so that's lamia who is you know what honestly doomsday is probably need the most love out of any of them and then you also get yourself mavis which is going to be actually from the synergy summon so a lot cheaper event uh you can start saving some of your synergy summons buying some of them with your diamonds they are very expensive i think it's 400 to 500 i think it's 400 diamonds for one of the synergy things but it's worth trying at least to go for her as especially if you can get her as a demon obviously oh sorry not a demon uh enchantress i'm sorry I apologize. eclipse she's an eclipse not enchantress uh so this is going to be interesting to see. So she's not a demon. My apologies. She's a demon. Let me as a demon. She's actually just the enchantress. So definitely going to go for her. Going to try to go for her because love me some demons. And I'm trying to get my doomsdayers up. But I'm curious to see how they actually end up being from their kits. Because right now, mages, I think, probably are the strongest in the game in terms of their overall abilities and damage. And then obviously we have the 
Avengers who are already really OP. So I don't know how much of this, I'm, how, how much of Mavis I'm going to go for, depending on her kit. If she's pretty damn broken, I might end up going for her anyways. But if she's just like, she's decent, I might just bypass her. So this is going to be the interesting one. It is unfortunately a pay to win event for this one. So we'll see how far I go into it. And, and if again, if she's even worth going for, okay? So there's your two heroes right there. So I apologize, guys. Not a demon. She's just she's just an Eclipse unit with a uh, warrior warrior tag, okay? And then, like I said to you guys before, we've got one, two, three different suits coming up. So it looks like swimsuits. From what I'm seeing here, Dorabella has a bathing suit on. God damn. Aousta obviously has also a bathing suit on, and Marina has a bathing suit on. So these three are going to be available after the event update i don't know again if this is going to be a pay to win skin or not or if they are actually going to add any stats to these skins if they do people might be a little bit upset because obviously stats are going to make a difference but if it's just cosmetic it won't be too too bad because then at least you're just giving people a look rather than a advantage in battle right so we'll see how that looks but these three are pretty popular characters marina obviously is a if i remember call recall she's a what she she's a she's a uh, glorian uh, i wish that is a doomsdayer and dorabella is an ethereal so if you run any of these factions as your mains you might be might be vying for these especially if they're if they are going to be stats based people will buy for sure if they're not stats based people will just buy because they look hot really let's be real right and then that pretty much is it right there that's the update they can see here how it looks right this is this or that so this is what we're getting here right and i'm assuming if we don't beat whatever's happening we're probably going to get this if you have the chance to choose your living environment on uh palmeras content would you opt to be bustling city or the serene countryside living so it looks like we're going to be getting oh here's by the way lulur's other outfit this is the level 20 one if you haven't seen it before that's what it looks like if you guys are looking to get her we're gonna eventually get that very soon there we go and that's it that's the event so there you guys have it so again apologies guys on the hero i meant to say uh so one is eclipse and one is a demon uh enchantress very excited for these two to see what happens uh, i'm looking forward to the skins i really want to see what the skins look like and whether they're going to be free to play or pay to win and if we get any additional stats on them or not, those are going to be major driving factors for a lot of people. And also, of course, what they did with the Abyss boss, because this here was like the last Abyss boss was a bust. There was a lot of complaints about how pay to win it was and how little the devs cared about um, the free to play community on that one. So we gave a lot of our feedback to it. So I'm curious to see if they've actually followed through with the feedback and made major adjustments so everybody can participate and have an equal playing ground at least for the most part pay to win will always have an advantage let's be real but it'd be nice to see if free to play actually gets a better chance now if you have not done so remember to go in to the actual um shop and buy yourself the weekly chances for abyss i think it'll make a huge difference if you have that leg up on the competition if you have not been doing so this is a perfect time to start before they actually drop the abyss i'm almost 100 percent positive that those tickets will still apply towards this abyss that's coming up all right, guys, this is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.